are off to go talk to Professor Ronin about, I think, going to Hogsmeade. Guys, welcome back. This is Hogwarts Legacy. Another day in the life of Dumperius Malfoy. We gotta go talk to Professor Ronin. Guys, I'll tell you what. Look, Laura was testing me because my game was not popping up. My first playthrough and then this was not popping up. Apparently, I did cloud syncing or something through Epic Games and it just made for a horrible experience. So, we're all oh, good. Praise the Lord. Here we go. Professor Ronin, talk to us, baby. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Repero. Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Nice. Huh. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. Okay. I have arranged some for today. I like how he See rolls his R's. and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Repero in no time. Repero. Uh, what is the pur purpose Why of these tasks? Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Fair. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. That is completely fair, I'll Professor Ronan. I'll task right away, Professor. Here we go! Professor Ronan's assignment. Collect a flying page near the broken statue and collect a flying page in the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. Okay, this watch this. Right area. Watch this, watch this, watch this. I wonder where Ye the flying page is. There we go. Nice. And then we need in the Dark Arts Tower. I don't know why my game is lagging. I lowered my settings. Revelio. I lowered my settings, so I'm not sure why I'm still getting a little, you know, ugly looking. Brilliant. Kind of stutters. But we're chilling. Alright, sweet. Let's talk to Professor Ronan again. What's up, good sir? I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. At yes, the sir. ready. Here we go. Remember, oh, your shoot. wand is a conduit of yeah. your magic. Square X and then X. Hail to the year. Reparo. I would have said Reparo, to be honest. Reparo. The mending charm Reparo can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Okay. That's it. Okay. Very good. If you would so, like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the oh water. Oh, yeah. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too Ooh. accurate and lashed out. Let's see what it is, though. Rebellion. Okay. She just too stunned to speak. Nice. So. Wait, is that it? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Look. Let me also. And we got another. Nice. Revelio. Um, is that it though? Is that all we have to do? Or is there something else over here? Yeah, look, it's getting a little laggy. It's getting a little laggy. You're currently not tracking anything? Okay. Let's see, quest wise. Welcome to Hogsmeade. Visit Hogsmeade and gather your supplies. I thought that I was supposed to talk to Sebastian first, because that's who I'm going with, no? Oh, meet Sebastian near... Oh, wait, where's it taking me? Oh, all the way back? Okay. Let's go back then. And we'll go talk to our boy Sebastian. So Sebastian's really going to be our best friend here, y'all. Like, he... Sebastian's going to be one cool dude. Let... Oh, wait, use... What? To stop by the Owlery. Wait, I didn't know that that's what... Am I missing? Where's that dang page at? It's astonishing what one There's a page in here. I literally just saw it fly by. Where is it, though? 
I really want to get it before we walk through this area and then never get it again. I don't think it pops up anyway on the... On that, like, Revelio. But, oh, there it is. Got him! Hell yeah. Sick, dude. Okay. So, dude, I can't wait to get to Hogsmeade. What an incredible place to be, to go. All that. I wonder, does... The Harry Potter world have a Hogsmeade? Like, um, in Universal? Rebellion. Is that a thing, or am I tripping? I don't know if they have a Hogsmeade. They have Diagon Alley, I know that. I don't know if they have a Hogsmeade. Hmm. Where are we at? Oh, there's our boy Sebastian. There's a ghost. Oh, oh, there's something here. Oh, yes. What is this? The bells? Three Sisters Bells. The Three Sisters Bells are said to be a tribute to... Three similarly named beautiful step or beautiful steep ridges that rise majestically over a glen in Argyll Argyllshire. It is rumored that one can hear them ring in the glen, way across the highlands, and uh, when they are rung in the castle. Locals have been baffled by the mysterious ringing for years. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I feel like I have to warm up to reading. Like I don't think I could just jump in and start reading stuff, especially of this caliber in the Harry Potter world. Because I am struggling, like, right off the bat, y'all. Like, it's not even funny. We got a chest. Ooh, Wigan Weld Potion, which we do need because we burn one in our class. Uh, or in the dueling uh, wands class. Now, there is something here as well. Ooh, I rang something else, too. Okay, what is this? Goblin Artifact. They spelled it different. I don't know if that's British or an American thing, but horns like this were used by goblins during the 1612 Goblin Rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches and wizards. I can, I would probably use this. This horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion behind the hog's head in with a wedge of Gorgonzola stuffed inside, presumably to mute it. Like I said, I really can't just jump into Harry Potter world type stuff and just start reading. I, I really can't. And one more thing before we talk to our guy, Sebastian. Here we go. So this is the broken broom. This broken broom belonged to Celine Wart Wartnaby. Interesting. And is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating the experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Okay, let's talk to our boy. What's up, Sebastian? Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Okay. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Let's go, Sebastian. Hell yeah, brother. Um, super stoked to get into Hogsmeade. I gotta figure out why my game is stuttering, though. It, it shouldn't be. I don't know why it is, though. Interesting. Oh, look at this! There's a Quidditch pitch. I don't know what you call it, but the Quidditch area. Stadium. Awesome, dude. Let's go, Sebastian. I was Sebastian. glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. I am too. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. Look You're the this. only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, My I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Yeah, you better keep an eye out. Because I'm a... I don't know. I just started talking. I didn't know what to do. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize greatly. Speaking of Look Weasley, how beautiful. she seems to have taken Revelio. quite a shine to you. Has oh, she? wait. That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Oh, you be getting detentions. Detention, you? you really are a Slytherin, aren't Just you, Sebastian? Just to keep me well-rounded. Mm. Dude, look at this. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, dude. What a game, y'all. Every episode, Maybe we're going to continue to say it. What a beautiful a game. Might have saved me from one. Mm. We're going to go get a puppy. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me. As is often the case. Mm-hmm. Okay. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm glad that you don't have to, like, follow him. from the librarian's bad side? 
so slowly. You know how some well, games do that? You have to fall in so it's a matter slow. Of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. Oh, what is this? This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. Oh, nice! to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Revelio. What potion? Y'all know I'm gonna get all the dang... Oh, wait, what are these? Like little trumpets. What? I wonder what they make. Y'all know, I, I'm gonna grab everything I possibly can. Like, that's just what I do. I'm gonna just loot everything that I can and deal with the consequences Mullet's later. Beard from the Forbidden Forest, look! What? What's going on? See oh! Yourself. Hippogriffs! Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Wow. Okay, so those of y'all that in were in the first episode Absolutely. of this playthrough, y'all know I got a Mandrake Lego set, and I also got a Hippogriff uh, one, uh, Buckbeak. And would it be cool? Like, would would you guys be interested in me, like, building it on a video or no? Like, leave a comment. Just let me know. I think that would be interesting. Ooh, I did not mean to do that. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Hmm. Ah. You can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up Oh, ahead. you can! You really can see Hogsmeade up there. That's sick. That's so dope, dude. I I'm telling y'all, this game is just incredible. We need something more of this. Like, whoever made this game, like, we need more, dude. That's it. We just need more. Castle. A yes. little. It's yeah, positively man. enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Yeah. Loads to see. Places to discover. Oh, oh? any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? Sebastian, you still you're a slither. Yes, you can. You so good at dueling. I don't know. I just it happened, brother. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Dumperius Malfoy. You know. So I wonder what I would be I've like. I always thought Thestrals pulling a carriage a bit grim. Oh. I suppose most people don't actually see them I was about all. to say so he does but see them. can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Moonstone. Dude, I was about to say, I didn't know you could see him. Wait, how can he see him? We need to dive into that. Sorry, what, what was I going to say earlier? I completely forgot. Every time I want to talk, he talks or I talk. And then it throws everything off for me. I have no idea. Mr. But, Moon. Yeah. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit Wait, worse where? for wear. Here? Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, have Mr. Moon, yes. Here? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. What? Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi Is... guys. Ugly and airy and... Terrifying. Demi I guys. shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Dude is on something, Demi man. Guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice. That's what I'm saying. He's had too much of it. I've never God. seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon's off some damn drugs, bro. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Wait, is oh, he ca is caretaker like the same position as Filch? She is, or rather, she was. Is that the same? She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Look at this, and we're entering Hogsmeade. Let let's take it in, guys. Look at this, Hogsmeade, man. <laughs> Beautiful little. Oh, what is that? What is that? Beautiful Hogsmeade, man. This is incredible, bro. What a game. What a freaking game. All right, what's on the agenda first there, Sebastian? Sebastian. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. <gasps> Hold Rebellion. on, Sebastian. Here we go. Seradwin's precarious cauldrons. This precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside Seradwin's. Advertises the shop's wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion while middly eye-catching is ill-advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effect. Thanks. Let's go! Level 6, baby. Level friggin' 6. Let's go, dude. 
Okay, so what's up, Sebastian? What are we gonna do? What is on the agenda first, my good sir? So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits. Yes. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. I'm excited and to get a new wand. short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Bet. We'll do, Sebastian. Remember, okay. have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade is brimming with different site shops and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guides map. Okay. So, show shops and uh, points of interest. Track any of these by highlighting icon. Press blank to exit. Okay. Where do we want to go first? Visit tomes and scrolls. Let's just go from top to bottom, I guess. Uh, tomes and scrolls. Where is that? Ollivanders. Tomes and scrolls. Okay. Sick. And there it is. Oh, wait. I want to get that page first. I know y'all saw that page. Give me it. Yeah. I'm a little sucker for these field guide pages. Okay. So, what do we need first here, then? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. Thomas Brown. I am the nice proprietor beard, brother. Here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid mm, I haven't yet, no. sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. I love it. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And the character's I so nice. Seeing it, spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces oh! of furniture or decoration. Interesting. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. Okay. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe yes, sir. so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want let's have when you want. So what are we getting? Let's have a look. Like what specifically? Let's look at what we have, shall we? Oh, both of these. Small potions, small potion station spellcraft and potting table with small pot spellcraft. Let's get that. Nice, and let's get that. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my info. Oh hell no, nah, brother. I ain't got no gold. You got these high prices, good sir. Okay, hey, well, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Thomas. Let's get this field guide page while we're in here, too. Enchanted staircase guide pages. This enchanted st uh, staircase in tomes and scrolls reveals itself when a particular book is moved. The proprietor here, Thomas Brown, sells a variety of written products, including spellcrafts handy for conjuration. Let's find this book. Is it that book? Maybe. Oh, it is. Let's go, dude. Nice. Rebellion. Wait, can I go on this side? Oh yeah, baby. Oh shoot. How do you get this one? Lumos. Okay. Okay, I don't remember how to get that. Do I have to be invisible for that? I can't remember. Revelio. So what is up? Oh, is it just oh you I mother sucker. You mother sucker. Gimme you. Yeah. Ew. Look at that little thing on the wall. What the hell? Hey, we got some stuff. I need to honestly switch out like what I'm wearing and make sure I have on the best statistical stuff that I can. Because that would be helpful. Now let's see where to go to next. Oh wait, I didn't even see. Visit Ollivanders. Ollivanders is up here on the left. Let's go. I'm not going to set a waypoint. I should be able to find it. Ollivanders. Let's go. And I got a field guide page. 
Ollivander's Wand Shop. Wands of a variety of woods and all manner of flexibility, each possessing one of three magical cores. Choose their owners in this cozy, cluttered shop run by the amiable and knowledgeable Gerbold? Ollivander, I'm not sure if I said that right. In the profession of wand craft since 382 BC, the Ollivander family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. I'd like to meet some other ones, honestly. What are we going to do here, brother? Oh, I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Thank you, good sir. Thank you, good sir. Uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? How did you know that? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Olivanders. Gerbold. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? I like we? how he has his wand tucked into his ear. Uh, no, no. Or his uh, hair you. on his ear. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Does he do the classic Seven Harry Potter, inches? like, hmm. testing you out the wands? Do. Here, give this one a try. It looks Go good. Ahead, swish. Hmm. Not good. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Not good. Oh dear. Damn. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> Dude, I want to get a wand in real life. Like, go to Harry Potter World and actually we'll get one. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Dragon heart string, hell yeah. That's Let's a big wand, though. Let's give this one though. a try. Hell no. Oh, oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. <laughs> How perplexing. Um Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah. Is that there it? You are. Look at the cobwebs up there. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. I love how the shelves Take are not it. like traditional. You know, they're like all out of whack. Okay, let's see. What wand are we going to get? Oh. Wait, is this just a regular wand? I want to customize mine then. Like, it just don't seem enough. You know what I mean? What Who kind? Oh, dark me? gray. Honey brown. Ash brown, soft spiral, classic gray. I don't like the gray. The gray How gives me intriguing. like, I don't know. It just gives me weird vibes. Let's do a new, a natural gray, but let's do warm brown maybe? Wood type? What kind of wood do we want guys? Curious indeed. Ooh, wait. I've never actually looked through all these. Elder, cherry, cedar, black, walnut, ash, apple, alder. Like, how do you say that? Acacia? How do you say that? I don't know. Curious indeed. Let's do elder. And then we'll do 11 and a half inches, I guess. Whippy, pliant, brittle, hard, solid, stiff, rigid, unbending, slightly yielding, unyielding. Yeah, we got to have some flexibility in ours. Let's start from Curious in quite mind. bendy. No, fairly bendy. No, fairly flexible, quite flexible, surprisingly swishy, swishy, slightly springy, supple, reasonably, reasonably supple. How intriguing. Let's, oh, fudge. I didn't mean to. let's do uh, quite flexible. And then do we want dragon? Oh, we're doing Phoenix feather. Oh, wait, no. We're evil. I 
I'd love to have Phoenix Feather. Like, realistically, I would love to have it, but we're evil. So we got to go Dragon Heart String. Not that that makes you evil, but... Is most powerful. Uh, and, and then I just want to see the different types again. Notched. Mm. Curious indeed. Uh, the basic, like, that classic one just looks good. But I want, like, a... Let's see... How intriguing. I think we go here and I think we just go warm brown or do we go honey brown? Hmm. Let's go honey brown. Let's go honey brown. Not my initial one, but I like it. Let's go. What do you think? Let them voices speak, Dumperius. I'm grinning like a mother sucker. Hell yeah. Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> I love this. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Ollivander. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Thanks, Mr. Ollivander. Okay. So, we need to go to J. Pippin's Potions. It don't seem that laggy here. J. Pippin's Potions? Probably that? Yeah. Let's set our little way mark just in case we do get lost. Look at this. Look at this little area. There's zon uh, Zonkos. I'm just trying to Look at that big old keg of butterbeer. Or barrel of butterbeer. What are y'all doing? Let's go. It, it, this just whole area looks insane, dude. Imagine living in a place like this. Revelio. Oh, let me get that. I got some coin. Is there anything here? Get it, brother. Hell yeah. All right, now Welcome let's get us some potions. potions. Give me that. And then talk to me, Perry Pippin. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before. Your either. face? It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me like to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. Oh, we're going to be brewing up some potions, first baby. Time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also have already made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't... Wait, do that's called drafts? I kept saying drafts. But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Oh gosh, I'm not good at reading or what speaking. What can I do for you today? Okay, let's get Wigan Weld Potion Recipe. Damn, why am I tired? And then Edurus, Edurus Potion Recipe. Uh, I don't know what this is, but it's a recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect... Oh, hell yeah. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my I can't drink. afford the rest, brother. Or come back another time if you're in a I rush I can't today. afford the rest, brother. Love you, mean it. Rebellion. Ooh, and we're gonna grab this in the back right here, brother. Let's see. 
Jay Pippin's Potions. Jay Pippin's Potions established in 1753 is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Oh, look, I'm getting better at reading, y'all. You should have given me a little time. Okay, and then next we need to go to the Magic Neep. The hell is a Magic Neep? Maybe this? No, Wizard Wear. Uh, hairdressing. Brood and Peck. Oh wait, is it up here? Yeah, yeah. Gotta go across the bridge. Over here, and then this is where we get the ingredients set. I'm pretty Revenue. sure. Is there a, uh, oh, let's trim the bushes. Nice, gotta look them good. Gotta make them look good, really. Okay. And, oh, there we go. Give me that field guide page. Dang, Hogsmeade, I'm only missing three so far Rebellion. now. We've knocked out a ton today. Look at the chickens. Well, hello there. Hello there, brother. Oh, wait, let me, let me steal this from you, brother. Hello, Timothy. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. Teasdale. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. I like this in guy. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Dittany seeds? What Let do those do? You're after something fresh. No, I'm after the Disney seeds, around. like you suggested, Plenty brother. Of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Thank you, though. Ah, I just don't need all that. Oh, we are so close to getting all the field guide pages here. Here we go. The Magic Neep cart. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. He did say that. He Rebellion. definitely said that. Okay, so let's go grab this first. Oh, wait. Oh, it is in there. Wait, can I swim? Oh, fudge. Wait, can I jump? Oh, fudge. Dang, I can't get that. Okay, let's go... Back here. With the broken staircase. Can I get over? Oh my gosh, brother. Come on. Dumperius, really? How you gonna be evil and then can't even parkour, bro? You can't even parkour. Come on, my guy. Step it up. Okay, so I just want to check along the way. Okay, what like dings whenever you revelio? Like what what is it that does that? You know, like what revelio? Is it just anything or is it certain things? <gasps> wait, whoa, wait, got him. We need one more field guy page revelio. in Hogsmeade. That's oh, and here it is. Zonko's! Zonko's Joke Shop. Frequented regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike. Zonko's is the place about pranks and jokes and hogs me. Dude, we just completed all of them! What? Wait, can I look that up? Can I look at that? Uh, collections. Keep on going. Mm. Wait, did I do this right? Uh, I don't think I did. It's probably in challenges, isn't it? Field guide pages. Uh, claim rewards. Claim rewards. Yes, let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Wait, did we get all the ones in Hogsmeade? How do you know, like, each place? That's what I want to know. I guess, I guess you don't. Interesting. Okay, cool. I like that. I I'm glad that we're doing it already. Oh, let's upgrade our gear. So we have eyewear. Oh, plus defense. We get some defense on that. Okay, let's equip those and then change our appearance immediately. Uh, we did get a few things for free, though. 
like with the update i can't remember what version of this game i got but you do get a few things for free with like the update i think let's check out the hats that we have oh yes 11 defense for sure and let me tell you right now we're not wearing that little silly hat are you kidding me even though it does kind of look cool uh neck wear this is gonna give us eight offense Ooh, too bad we're not wearing it and take that off and then i think everything else were good oh wait 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 oh oh wait that don't look too bad oh wait that does <laughs> okay and then let's take that bad boy off and oh wait no actually i think we had that on right yeah okay i just want to check the handwear real quick too and the wand handle we have zero wand handles okay so nice we have 325 health 23 defense and eight offense offense is not very good defense is delicious um so big shout out to us big shout out to us okay and let's continue on our mission sweet oh wait wait i just got another thing wait there's another thing wait all the field guy pages wait wait whoa 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 collect field guy pages oh that was just another tier of it isn't it that's not actually like all of them Revelio. there's probably tiers of every everything correct like you can get at this thing you get this many or you get this reward at the next thing you get that reward and stuff right i assume so i officially have all of my what supplies. Up, sebastian excellent did you get what you needed for your sister i did so I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Uh-oh. What the hell is going on? A troll! Damn, brother. Oh, those girls aren't playing around. Look at the little bubbles that are like surrounding them. Oh damn! There's the Run police. Away from the building. Away from the building. Come on, Dumperius. We gotta step up to the plate, baby. Oh wait, another? Holy! Dodge. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Come on with it. Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh damn, not a good look, Dumperius. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We'll wear him down eventually. Oh gosh. Wait, will any of my stuff work on him? Levioso. Accio. Oh damn. Hey, he's destroying this place though, ain't he? Levioso. Oh damn. Oh damn. Wait, ancient throw Oh! Ancient magic throw? A taste of his own medicine. What? Nice oh baby, done. that's all we're gonna do. Give me all the damn barrels you got. I'm gonna just start slinging these bad boys. Give me another barrel. Yeet. Give me another barrel. Yeet. Give me another barrel. Yeet. Oh, that's doing way more damage than a dang basic attack. That's right, lumbering Oh, son of a. He's faltering. Boom. A few more Boom. The Armored troll. I didn't even realize that's what it was, by the way. Guys. Oh, dang. I should have. I want to do Protego when I can. Oh, there we go. I dodged and then I did a Protego like halfway through. Woo! Got him! Let's go, Sebastian. That's the duel of a century. Oh, to invoke ancient magic. Oh, what the f That boy Dumperius ain't playing! Oh my gosh. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? Yes, ma'am, we did. I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? Oh, we are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask Oh, me. hell yeah. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Oh, of absolutely. course, officer. Singer, Officer Singer, 
And thank you, again. Hell yeah. Let's start repairing in this mother... Wait, did she just leave? Repairer. You can't ask us to do all this and then leave. You gotta help out too, girl. I'll go and see what he wants. Wait, what is... Oh, is it doing it? Repair the damage. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Honestly, dude, they're freaking trolls. This is nice, dude. You could just repair everything and stack the boxes back up like that. Okay, I mean that wasn't like the craziest thing. The cart, man. Imagine having this in real life. Oh, what the? F what the fudge? And then where else? Out oh, the, the rocks. Nice, Dumperius. Boy, Dumperius. Man. Oh, have it? Dude, imagine owning that. Imagine owning that. Just nice little waterfall, dude. I'd go out on my porch and just hear that water just fall all day, dude. All day, all night, man. I'd sleep with the windows open and I'd skip rocks on the thing. Oh, and I'd grab a, I'd grab a flying page. I'd grab a flying page. There we go. <laughs> I'd pet all the cats. Hey, kitty, kitty. Look at the dragonflies, too. Kitty, kitty, if you don't get them damn dragonflies, brother. Rebellion. Boy, don't yell at me. Oh, what is this? I need to know what makes the... Oh, is it this? It is. Another field god page. Hengist of Woodcroft. I'm not sure if I said that right. The statue of Hufflepuff Hang. Uh, this statue is of Hufflepuff Hengus of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade. Nice. After having been driven from his home by Muggle or persecutors. Nice. That boy means business. Oh wait, before we go in there, can we go in here? Oh. Rebellion. And another field guy page. After I open this chest. Um. Hey, kitty. Do you own this house, kitty? Oh my God. Scriven Chef cats. These cats seem to stay close to Scriven Chef's quill shop. Perhaps it's the uh, feather quills that entice them, or perhaps it's the treats the owner often leaves for them. Hmm. I wonder which one. I wonder which mother sucking win. Wait, how do I get the one in the back? Do I have to go around? Revelio. Wait, actually though, how do I go in the back? Can't go in there. I can't grab a book though. Dude, that might be my favorite thing right now. What the hell is that damn dodo bird doing? Revelio. Might be my favorite thing right now. Oh, that's why. Okay, okay, okay. I, I just need to know why I can do certain things, why I can't, you know, guys, guys it's a marathon, not a damn sprint. I know y'all feel the same way, okay? Oh, I'm abandoning Sebastian, fudge. Forgot I had to do that. I just want to search around, bro. Rebellion. It ain't that big a deal, Sebastian. What is that flying over there? An owl or a phoenix? Alright, let's knock out what we got to, guys. Sorry. Sorry for the distractions. I just really like exploring. Wait, oh, which one? Oh, brother, can't get that. I can get that. What else can I get? Uh, Mr. Hill was just singing your uh, praises. Oh, this is the same shop. Okay, my bad. Uh, Gladrags mannequin. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Gladrags serve only as means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. Oh, so it's not special. So you're telling me it's just a dang regular mannequin. Now tell me what this is. Oh, never mind. No, it's not. Oh, hell yeah. Rebellion. That's creepy as hell. That is creepy as hell. Let me steal that gold so I can afford something in the shop. I have to steal from them so I can buy from them. What the hell keeps doing that? I need a glass of tea before I talk to you, good sir, okay? Glad rag? Augustus Hill, that's what I meant. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. <laughs> He's like drippy. Thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. 
I was happy to help. It's not all about the haircut there, Frankly, brother. you deserve an order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. Ooh! In thanks for what you did today. Thank you. Oh, wait, should I say... I wonder what I say if I say no, sir. That... Let's see. I just want to see. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. <laughs> Nonsense! I insist! I figured. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? I figured he would say that. <laughs> Plenty for your perusal today. Take your what time. Traditional school robe? Oh, I thought you were going to give me something good, brother. You just damn lied to my face. I got better stuff than this, buddy. Compare? Oh, maybe I don't. No, we're good. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, good sir. Gear screen! I already know how to do the gear. I already know how to do the gear, baby. I already know. I already know. Oh, wait. I didn't even put that on. I didn't even put on the right one. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I think I could sell my stuff, though, can I? I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. Sebastian. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. Hell yeah. The three broomsticks is just this way. Let's go, Sebastian. But first... I even more battle-worthy items. Sir, please. Sir, please. Let me put on the drippy drip, okay? Mm, oh, wow. That is better. Okay. It's a green, but it's better. Hell yeah. I gotta, I really gotta up my sensitivity though, y'all. This is taking five ever. Okay, so we do have the best one on on there. My outfit. Oh my god, this is way better. And it, oh, I like that. I actually like that. Okay. I don't want this on though. I want a traditional robe on. I think. What's the one he got me? What's the one he got me? Traditional school robe? Traditional school robe? Oh, it's the same thing, just better stats. Okay. Understood. And then... Do we want to go this? Okay, it's between this and this. I say that. Yeah, we good. Yeah, we good. Oh, you can put the hood on and off? Oh, bro, that is so hard. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. You're very really welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Thank you so much, Augustus. I definitely... Wait, oh, shoot. Bro, how many times I got a Revelio? Just let me get it. Gladrags Wizard Wear, uh, founded in 1750 with locations in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade. Gladrags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate Otto Dibble uh, happily help all those. I didn't see Otto. All those who wander into the shop enjoying, in particular, the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. Let's go get a butter beer, bro. I need one, man. Long day. Long day at work. Need a butter beer, bro. Assuming it isn't Otto Bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona. The owner. She's a good one to know. Sweet. Y'all see the stuff popping in the distance? That's sick. Oh, what the fudge? Okay. It scared me for a second. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Get that goofy hat off, brother. What the hell? Who is this child? What are you not telling me? So we All need to watch out for him. All you need to know is Rookwood. that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Stay away from Rookwood and Theophilus. <sighs> or something. <sighs> Let's go. That's what we were told. Did they see us? 
I don't yeah. think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. We've already run Quickly, into him once. Let's so. get inside the three broomsticks. But this is our first encounter with Rookwood. Like, I actually seen him speak. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Lord Gok. Thank you, Serona. I like Lord well. Gok. Talk to me, Serona. Let's get a few butter beers. Now, what can I. Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. It's Dumperius. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Oh, Serona, I like you. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? We both did, I thought. Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> oh, oh, damn. How timely. The hell do you want, Rookwood? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. Oh, there's Theophilus. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. Bro, I don't even know you. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Woo! I said, my friend is busy. One Serona think got them shooters! For one day. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Damn! Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Serona, you Can't bad bitch. Be here forever. Hell yeah! Dude, that was sick! Seems you've made an unfortunate <laughs> enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Damn. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Wow. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Good call, Sebastian. But that, my friends, is where we are going to stop today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys leave a like and a comment. Maybe even subscribe if you did. But I will catch you guys in the next one. So until then, peace.